I was suing them or I was suing who? Um, Disney. Disney? Yeah. What'd they do to you? We said to them, uh, they called us first and said, we know that we're going to be talking about owing Richard something in and around some hundreds of thousands of dollars. And on that following Monday morning, they called, the same lady called and said, okay, so uh, we're going to start with us knowing that we owe, owe you at least $5,000. For what? What did we do? I still don't understand the gist of this story. Well, What did I, we do wrong? I did 11 films for them. Okay, but now they're suing you. No, no, no. I was going to sue them. And it was the same thing that always happens with when you do 11 films. You know, they just uh, they take, run they you don't through pay the you. bringer. Right. Yeah, you have to, okay, now I see. Okay, so you have to sue people in Hollywood, that is true, to get your money. Right. They they do have ways of, even movies, was it uh, Coming to America? Some movie like that, which made $125 million, which at the time was, you know, today would be like, I don't know, uh, closer to a billion. It was a giant hit. And they somehow found a way to hide all the money. Right. We're like, well, we didn't really make that money. I don't know where it went. Somebody paid for that swimming pool, but I guess it wasn't <laughs> that money. So, and someone uh, paid for your yacht. <laughs> yeah, but that's how you know you've really made it is when you have to sue for your money. I mean, until then, you're just a you're just a schnorrer. <laughs> you know, you're just <laughs> you're. So it's good that you uh, had that long stretch where you were top dog and got to sue the studios. By the way. Who hasn't had a beef with Disney? They fired me in 2001. They owned ABC. And I was never really bitter about it. I was shocked that a show called Politically Incorrect could stay on a Disney property for almost six years. That, to me, was it was like the Roman Empire. It's not that it fell. It's like how long it lasted. Yeah. So I didn't. I understood what the, where they were coming from. And, you know, I, I never ever took any of those corporate feuds or made a corporate feud. I knew that a a lot of (laughs) corporate heads at the time didn't like me. And you know what? They weren't completely wrong. I was like 40 and still like, you know, I don't know. They wanted me to be married and, you know, they are much more comfortable with that type. Right. They didn't like seeing pictures of me out at nightclubs at four in the morning, and you know, <laughs> because I was doing a show that was like, you know, political and not issues. And I mean, people took it seriously. Why they can't take, and they learned to take seriously somebody who still wanted to be in a nightclub. And I don't know why anybody, everybody wouldn't. But um, yeah, they, I could tell they didn't, uh, weren't crazy about me. But nobody ever did anything terrible. It's fucking show business. We're so lucky. To it be in it at right any end. at the moment when things that were not serious became uh, deadly serious. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.